We would love it if everybody became a member of Club Twit at twit.tv slash club twit. So on occasion, we release free episodes of Hands on Mac to show you exactly what you'll get if you join the club. Thanks for listening, and uh, we can't wait to see you in the club. Coming up on Hands on Mac, the question you've been asking yourself, how in the world can I stop those annoying reactions from popping up whenever I am trying to record video? Well, let's find out. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. This show is brought to you by members like you. Thanks. Welcome back to Hands on Mac. I am Micah Sargent, and today we are taking a look at a feature that has quickly annoyed quite a few people, something that needs to be addressed. It is the new reactions feature uh, in Mac OS, and it is something that has gotten people at least in a bit of an awkward moment, if not in full on trouble. So let's head over to the Mac to take a look at what we can do to address this problem. All right, so here we are on macOS, and the first thing I'm going to do is open up Photo Booth because that will give me access to the built-in camera. Now, what we're talking about here are, of course, the features, let me just turn this a little bit, uh, that give you the ability to sort of make a visual reaction uh, whenever you are holding up your hands, for example. And while you're talking now, something like the, the the double horns is something that you're probably not going to do naturally. But I know for me, I have a habit of throwing up thumbs and of uh, maybe even uh, putting a heart on screen. And these reactions are fun if you're having a conversation with someone that you know. But what if you're talking to your boss and your boss says something you don't like and you kind of throw up a uh, passive aggressive thumbs up and then suddenly on the screen <laughs> up pops this animation? It's not great, right? It's a little bit awkward. Well, I've heard from a number of folks who've had this problem and I want to talk about where this comes from and how it works. So the first thing to understand is that this is a feature that is tied to different apps, but also different cameras. So you're going to need to disable it for these different apps and cameras. Uh, in order to make any changes to this, we simply go up into our menu bar and we click on the green uh, video icon that is a representation of a webcam being in use or a camera of some sort being in use. And here we can see that the camera that is being used is Photo Booth, or rather that Photo Booth itself is using the camera. And so we see the Photo Booth icon, we can see the image or the video that is actually being played. And beneath it, it tells us what camera is being used. In this case, the FaceTime HD camera. These three settings are what you need to uh, address. First and foremost is portrait, which by turning on portrait, we can add a nice uh, portrait mode blurred effect around the edges. It's a nice bouquet blur, and you can increase or decrease that effect uh, using the menu below. And then there's the studio light option, which adds some uh, sort of darkening around you and some light on your face. So you get both at the same time to really kind of draw the eye towards the person that's in, in the view. Last but not least are the reactions. And this, as you can see, is turned on. There are eight different reactions. The hearts, which you've seen, the thumbs up, which you've seen. What if you did a thumbs down on camera? Ooh, uh, there's also the balloons for a, perhaps a party. Um, there's a storm cloud, <laughs> uh, which is very dramatic. Uh, there's confetti. Yay, we're so happy. Uh, the lasers, which you saw. And last but not least are the fireworks. Um, and each of these reactions can also be triggered by hand signs, which is where things get awkward. So in order to turn those off, you simply do what you did before. You click on that little reactions icon and that disables it. That will turn off those reactions. But again, in other apps, so if you have Zoom and you want to use Zoom, make sure that you click on that green video icon in the top of the menu bar and turn off reactions for that and the FaceTime HD camera or whatever camera you happen to be using. Folks, that is going to save you, I think, a lot of time, uh, a lot of 
heartache, potentially, uh, but at the very least, a lot of trouble. And I think it's a very important understanding of that new feature that's available uh, within Mac OS. Um, outside of that, if we go into the control center here, we can see that uh, we also have um, a little indicator at the top that shows us that the microphone is being used by QuickTime and that photo booth is using the camera. So if you ever need to kind of get an understanding of what is using your system, then you are able to do that right here from Control Center and see, OK, that's using the mic, that's using the, the video and make adjustments to it as needed. Um, that's going to bring us to the end of this episode of Hands on Mac. A little quick tip that I think is something that you uh, probably have struggled with with the introduction of this feature in Mac OS. So hopefully this helps uh, you kind of get out of an awkward situation before it happens and not something that you're scrambling to find an answer to now that the feature is available. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Hands on Mac. I will be back next Thursday with another episode. Uh, and thank you to all of uh, the subscribers, the Club Twit members who tune in every week to catch the show. Uh, talk to you then. Bye-bye. Hey there, Scott Wilkinson here. In case you hadn't heard, Home Theater Geeks is back. Each week, I bring you the latest audio video news, tips and tricks to get the most out of your AV system, product reviews, and more. You can enjoy Home Theater Geeks only if you're a member of Club Twit, which costs seven bucks a month. Or you can subscribe to Home Theater Geeks by itself for only $2.99 a month. I hope you'll join me for a weekly dose of Home Theater Geekitude.